What a game between Manchester City and Arsenal. That was a fantastic display of football, end-to-end -end stuff. That's what I was expecting from this game. But sadly, it was not that. It definitely wasn't that. Listen, I would admit it was quite boring to watch, but Arsenal got the job done. This is the first time in 57 home games that Man City have failed to be on the score sheet. 57 home games they have scored in every single game, win, lose or draw, except this one game. And that's a great achievement. Arsenal have shown our attacking ability this year, but we have definitely shown our defensive strength this year. If we can't win, then we definitely have to make sure we are not going to lose in these last games. And that's what Arsenal did. It wasn't pretty to watch. Sometimes to win titles and win these things, not every game is going to be free-flowing football. And don't get me wrong, we didn't just sit back all of the game. No, we created fantastic chances. Gabriel Jesus had two chances in the first half to bury them. I just don't know how he's not scoring. But yet again, we know that he's not really known for his goal scoring. Made evident by his time at Arsenal, you get me? And in the second half, Trossard, Trossard just passed the ball first time to Martinelli. Just passed the ball first time to Martinelli. He takes a touch ahead of him. Bang, that's 95% a goal. 95% chance of that being a goal. But unfortunately, we did not take those chances and we just ended up drawing. But we take that, 100% take that. Eight games without winning against Manchester City. Make that nine games. But the previous eight games before this ninth game, we were just getting battered left, right and centre. Last year absolutely smoked 4-1 but this year a whole new arsenal so i'm very happy to see it man shout out goes to the boys at the back the boys at the back were just immense three games for Haaland against arsenal this season zero shots on target just completely dominated and abused he has no chance against saliba and gabriel it's just not gonna work even if you want to be a hater be realistic saliba and gabriel are definitely top three centre-backs, if not number one centre-back pairing in the world at this moment in time. And that's a testament to Gabriel because I know Saliba has been getting the praise for being Rose Warriors and all of these other things, but Gabriel has really stepped up this season. We have seen a lot less of those stupid mistakes that he was making throughout. He's always been a good defender, but he had those little iffy moments and stuff, but he's really, really removed a lot of those moments out of his game and he's been a solid, solid centre-back for Arsenal this season getting closer and closer to that William Saliba level, you know what I'm saying? So I'm more than happy to see it, man. Overall, the sad news this game is that Starboy Saka went off injured, praying that that's just a short-term injury and he's back very, very soon. Have some very big games going on and we cannot afford to play without this kid. Great to see Martinelli coming back off the bench. Hopefully he's involved in the future weeks and we see what he can do for us. But yes, man, not much to talk about. Wasn't the most exciting game but we got the job done in the end. We got a point. We didn't lose. But I have been ball one. Here I talk about nothing but football. The subscribe button is maybe here or there. And yeah, just drop me a subscribe and I'll be happy for it. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for taking your time to watch my video. Even if you don't subscribe, I really appreciate your time. Ball one, I'm out.